Okay, good Friday evening to you. As you know, as promised, as today, since today is Friday, January 8th, it's also, to, today is also Tra Al Trebek's last ever Jeopardy show. So in honor of that, I'm going to play a game of Jeopardy for the Wii to honor Trebek's legacy. So, I'm going to put the disc in right now. All right. Getting ready for the game to load up. Up, and you'll hear the iconic pink music. Well, the iconic theme song, but it's still the same. Same thing. Let's do it. Okay. All right, Alex. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. All right. I'm going to wear a... I'll wear a blue top. And I'll change my logo from color to a... orange guitar lo logo, so... So let's get to it. We're going to make this in a medium level game. And all right, Johnny, whenever you're ready, get ready to say your words that open the show. This is Jeopardy! And, and this game will pretty much be in multiple parts. Here are today's contestants. Johnny. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jeopardy. Good luck to all three of you in this Jeopardy round. The categories are Sports Joes. Okay. The largest in area. All right. Ouch. Ooh. USA Today's memorable quote makers, L to pay. And finally. And Kid Lit. Okay. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. I'll Avoiding take. Pointing the Wii remote at the screen. Press the A button to select a clue. Okay, I'll take the largest in area for 200, Alex. Mexico, United States, Canada. Okay, player one, select letters by pointing the Wii remote at the screen and then pressing the A button. What is Canada? Once you've typed in some letters, feel free to select your word from the autocomplete menu. Woo! Yep. yep. Correct. Player one. 400. Pakistan, India, Bangladesh. What is India? It's player one. <laughs> right. Let's take it for 600. Player one, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Yemen. What is Saudi Arabia? Yes, player one. Yeah. You are correct. 
Okay. Choose again. 800. Spain, Germany, France. Let's hear it, player one. What is France? Egypt, Tunisia. What is Libya? Is player one. Mm. Right, you are. Swept through that one, no problem. Player one, you pick again, please. Sports Joe's 200. In a nice two year run, he married Marilyn in 1954 and was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 55. Okay, player one. Who was Joe DiMaggio? Yeah, he's correct. Sports Joe's 400. Again, player one. Richard Nixon's enemies list included Jane Fonda and this New York Jets quarterback. Who is Joe Namath? Let's hear it, player one. Player one. Six hundred. In 1973, George Foreman grilled this smoking guy, knocking him down six times in two rounds. Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh. Player two. What does he say? Joe Frazier? Yes. Ah, see. I, I see. Please pick again. Player two. He's going for it for eight hundred. In 1908, troubled by blisters, this outfielder played in his stocking feet. Who is Shoeless Joe Jackson? Yes, player one. That's correct. We return to you. Let's finish the one. category for a thousand. In 1950, he became an assistant coach for Penn State football. In 66, he took over as head coach. Who was Joe Paterno? Okay, player one. <laughs> Okay. Player one, you pick again, please. Let's go with Kid Lit for 200. A game of hide and seek leads Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy into this land that's always winter and never Christmas. What is Narnia? Let's hear it, player one. Oh, by the way, don't be surprised if some of the answers I'm saying also end up, end up appearing on tonight's show later on. You get to pick again. Kid lit player. 400. Leroy Brown is the real name of the boy detective with this bookish nickname. What's an encyclopedia? It's player one. Uh, he's Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> That's it. Player one. Back Kid lit 600. This Louise fits you last, spies on her classmates and writes about them in her secret notebook. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, I think Player I know one. it. Who it might be, me. who is Harriet? As in Harriet the Spy? I remember the movie. <laughs> yep, the first name's all that was needed. Choose again, Player Kid one. Lit 800. In a Francis Hodgson Burnett tale, Mary Lennox tends to the secret this. Mm. Okay, yes, Santa two. rings in. Let's see. Yeah, the yes. garden. Okay. Next clue will be the last Player clue two. for part Back one. To you for our next selection. This Kipling lad goes on a Himalayan journey with a Tibetan Lama. Hmm. I don't know. Here's the correct response. Kim. Okay. Player. Well. That's going to do it for part one. Even though we still have 15 more clues left in the Jeopardy round, it's a good time to take a break. Just as just like in 
the Jap on the show they usually go to the first commercial break after 15 clues so I'll do I'll stop part one here see you for part two